I forbid you. You are in no position to ever plan even a birthday party. Yes! Yes! In your face! Tana. I could make a Tana video, but am I gonna? No! No! Yes, I am. Oh god, why am I doing this? I need to be stopped already. Please, so, Tanacon, what's there to talk about that everyone doesn't already know? Nothing. It's all been talked about already. Then why am I talking about it? So that I can beat this horse to death beyond any measure of human decency. Oh, what? What is it? Oh, d ah! It's just Tana and her crocodile tears. Tana, we are not falling for your crocodile tears. No, I say no, we are not. Look, we can all talk about how you're trying to emotionally drive people onto your side by using these fake tears and stuff, but it's not gonna work <laughs> because of um, how much I really care for you. This is, I'm like, I. <laughs> Tana, you messed up, okay? Just accept it, apologize, try to make things right, that's all you gotta do. Don't try to do all this emotional roller coaster stuff with your fake emotions. Come on, you know, you, there was a camera in front of you, you know that you were acting it up to try to make people feel bad for you. It's not that hard to do. The, the Paul brothers have done it, other YouTubers have done it. It's, it, it's so common, we don't, we don't need the sigh. Number one, the sigh of the YouTube apology and stuff. We just, we just, we just want you to do things right. And I'm here to make things right by talking about the con that no one is talking about. See, you got what you were getting from Tanacon. It was right in the title. You got a tan, and then you got conned. <laughs> it's right there in the title. But this whole thing, there was an undermining conspiracy that nobody is talking about. And I am here to bring it to the light of everyone's YouTube drama centers. What did I just say? I don't know, but let the rambling continue. But what I'm talking about is Shane Khan. Insert uh, dramatic womp here when I say that, you know, just to add dramatic effect. Like when Shane was constantly adding sound effects to the videos and music to make it all seem so dramatic. And, and what I want to put forth here is that Shane was in on it the entire time. Dun, dun, dun. Like what I think Shane was really trying to do was to make a lot of YouTube money. He's got over 30 million views <laughs> on, on his videos like what if he actually was a part of this weird conspiracy thing where that he got those two people to make Tanacon a failure because he knew that it wasn't going to succeed anyways so make it a spectacular failure and then he can make a lot of YouTube money probably he probably got a lot of subscribers a lot of views from it and like people thought he was doing a great thing like oh he's unbiased he's ha he's just trying to get the real news but come on we all know he was he was totally biased towards Tana we all know that. You can see it in the videos. He just didn't 
try enough to be unbiased and like that's what happens when you're a friend i also believe that there's a deeper underlining why he did that it was because of the shane con that he was a part of you know he's trying to make make them look l- make his friend tana look better it's because they're partners in this entire thing and like they need a villain and that's like what that michael guy whose role was and and he's got this whole monopoly of being a nice guy on on the youtubes and trying to trying to just fix everything here but no he was the mastermind behind it all and i even saw a video describing all this shady stuff that was surrounding the entire thing about how veeps was in this off- offshore account and the contract sh- sign with them could just be so that they could keep all the money because michael doesn't technically have to refund anyone uh it was this whole thing i saw it uh now admittedly i couldn't actually i don't want to find the video again because even i'm just so tired of all the tana videos i'm just tired of it and i'm still making a video of it oh Anyways, how truthful it is, I couldn't say since I couldn't find it again, uh, just because I'm just too done with all this. Uh, but yeah, what if, what if Shane was just trying to have a offshore, offshore bank account where he could make all this TanaCon money and then make all this YouTuber money and he, and nobody would suspect him. Boom. But I digress, this is all just a bunch of hyperbole. Uh, I don't actually think this is what happened, but I just I just wanted to kind of talk about how Shane got oh, so many views just by doing these documentaries and and like he was he was biased and like I don't know, it just kind of bugged me that nobody was, was really talking about these things. I think I saw a couple people talking about it, but not not really like, oh well, yeah, I'm doing it, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. It's like I said, I just gave up on Tan of <laughs> Even on, I, I just, I thought this was so intriguing and interesting, and, and now I, even I'm just done with it. Like, I tried to watch so many videos on it, and it's just, I'm done. I can't anymore. Uh, uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to make this dumb fun video of a uh, this weird Shane Con thing that I just invented in my head and like maybe try to spice things up a little. I don't actually believe any of this, and I don't think Shane is like an evil person or whatever. Like, I get what he did. He tried to make the video more exciting and. And like I understand, you're gonna be biased toward your friend. You know, all I, all I think is that maybe he could have, or somebody else should have done the documentary. That way, there would have been no bi- biased feelings towards anyone. You know, Shane knew what he was doing when he was making those videos and editing those videos. He, he's. He was he was definitely manipulating people for sure, um, but you know that it's YouTube. Everyone does it. Like how I manipulated people with the whole Shankon thing. It's okay. That's fine. It's whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to bring this to you. Like, what if like Shane was actually more involved in all of this than we all thought? Like, he like Tana was using him to get more people to show up to TanaCon and like. What if he was actually controlling things more than we thought? I don't think so, but I just want to put that theory out there because I just kind of think it's a fun theory. And anyways, all this doesn't matter because FuzzyTube made another con and just made this all even more irrelevant. And, ugh, why am I even making this video? And I also know that Tana released another video. It is an hour long. You think I'm going to watch an hour long Tana video? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it. 
I'm not gonna watch anything about TanaCon anymore. I'm just so done with this. I don't know what she said. I don't care what she said. I'm just we're, we're just moving on. But actually, the real reason I wanted to make this video was just to say all the dumb Tana jokes, like oh. Tana needs to be Tana convicted, and everybody got Tana conned, and you know all those good dumb old puns. But that's it. I'm done. I'm done here. I'm done with Tana talk, and I'm done with all this con talk. Ah, oh, just let's just move on. I'm we're we're all done with it. <laughs>